Hi, my name is Steve Carl. Thanks for watching my video. I'd like to read a poem I wrote called The Threat of an Intriguing Pattern, and then afterward I'll talk a little bit about it. The Threat of an Intriguing Pattern. Level scientists ocean the past. New details pattern more time. Burst pulses melt future, yet knowledge geology is fossil. Similarities collapse future. Melted ice is thinking of analog centuries, years turned to surprise fossil. Living flowers, coral dead, merge ancient chemistry. And species levels in mind, group system maps dead process in pattern. In October of 2017, I was invited by Jonathan Seipert to lead a writing workshop for about a dozen elementary, middle, and high school students at his high-frequency school for the performing arts. I showed the kids two techniques that I've been using since the mid-1990s. This poem uses a technique called erasure. In erasure, you begin with a text and you block out or erase part of it, and what's left when you're done is the poem. I didn't invent this technique. It's been around since at least the 1960s. Many writers have utilized it. I first came across it thanks to a 1986 review in the San Francisco Chronicle of A Humament by British artist Tom Phillips, where he takes a Victorian novel titled A Human Document and collages, draws, and paints over each page to obscure much of the text, but he leaves some of the text there to narrate a different story than the novel has in it. This was originally published in 1970 and has been revised multiple times over the years as Phillips goes back to the original novel and redoes pages. So I described this method to the kids in this workshop and showed them a poem I had written using the method and the source text I had used so they could compare. And then I handed out copies of a page I had printed off the internet. I think it was discussing some geological research by the government in the Arctic or something. And then we all took 10 or 15 minutes and erased our government research pages and turned them into poems. So since there's a visual component to these, I'll show you how mine wound up looking. So I think you should be able to see that there, most of it anyway. So that's the erased text showing the in with the blocks drawn around the words that I kept in the poem, so. So that's the thread of an intriguing pattern. Thanks for watching, and I hope you'll check back. I intend to post more of these readings. Thanks.